Hi everyone. So um, I'm here again today just uh, to do a my favorites for January. My, on my last video I actually said December but um, I would have been way way behind. So it's actually uh, what, are, what are my favorites for the month of January. And like I said I'm a little late. I'm about two weeks late. But that's okay. Um, uh, better late than never, right? So let's get started. My first thing, which is my favorite, um, in my favorite videos, I'm I'm basically going to say whatever it is that's my favorite. It doesn't necessarily have to be makeup product. Um, like I said in my previous videos, uh, this this channel is not just going to be based on makeup. Um, I love makeup, but I also I also like uh, other things. I like fashion. I like handbags. I like accessories. I like um, items for the house. I like organizing. I like cooking. Um, I like styling. So there's a lot of things that are going to be in uh, my videos or in my channel. And I'm sure that most of us, even though we like uh, makeup, we also like everything else. Uh, we're women. We're, like I said, uh, we are multifaceted. Uh, we, we do everything. And, and there's a lot of things that we do enjoy in life. And I'm going to share that with, with you guys. So let's get started. Uh, I am like I, I'm, I'm not sure if I actually said that in, in my previous videos but uh, if I haven't I am a handbag I, I, don't, I don't have words for it I'm a hoarder I love handbags I must have like 200 and I'm and by all means I'm not bragging um, I don't have a lot of um, brand name handbags uh, most of them are for Formula 21 H&M um, some boutiques um, um, internet Etsy you name it, I don't discriminate. So um, I love handbag, and every every chance I get, I, I try to purchase one. And um, everyone that knows me on for the holidays or for my birthday anniversary, I rather get a handbag. It doesn't have to be uh, expensive. Uh, I have handbags from maybe ten dollars all the way to you know my Louis Vuitton, uh, which I hardly use. So. Uh, I like to uh, spend. I get, like I said before, I get tired of things. So I want it to be a, li a little inexpensive. And some handbags tend to be trendy. Two years from now, I might not want to use them anymore. So I don't believe in spending all that money for something that I'm not going to use two years, um, two years from now. So with that being said, let me stop rambling. This is a handbag. And this, let me, let me pick it up. Um, This is a gorgeous, gorgeous handbag. Um, it's leather. It has uh, these chains here. It has two chains. The chains are not cheap. Uh, what I mean with not cheap is they're heavy. Okay, uh, they look expensive. This looks like a very, very expensive bag. It's all leather all around. It's not that large. I would consider this a medium sized bag. It has a link and leather chain here okay so the leather is intertwined into the links and this is the way I carry it because it doesn't have a shoulder strap uh, I don't necessarily like a shoulder strap okay and this is how I would use it um, it has a logo here very pretty the closure is very pretty okay you just open it like this and it, it unsnaps inside it's a, like a neon pink. I'm not sure if the camera sees that and it's picking it up. Um, it has a sip. It has a it has a zipper on this side, and it has its two pocket compartment here. Now you might be seeing some paper here. What I do to and I actually took some paper out so I can show you the inside of this bag. But regardless if my bags are expensive or not, I tend to in this closet I have shelves going all around the whole entire room and that's where I keep my handbags the very expensive ones I keep them in their dust cloth the ones that are the, the other ones that are not brand name I just keep them like this displayed um, on the shelf and what I do is I put paper stuffing inside so they can keep their shape okay so when you go to um, any any store and you buy something that is fragile and they give you the paper wrapping and the tissue I don't throw that away I keep that and what I do is I stuff my my um, 
boots and I stuffed my handbags. Okay, very nice. This was probably, I, th I think it was either $69 or $59 at Marshall's. So I love Marshall's for my handbags. Okay, now you're probably wondering what am I doing with a hat <laughs> indoors? This is one of my favorites for the month. That's why I have it on. Okay, and um, in New York, it, it tends to be really cold. Um, it, it, it goes like this this week it was uh, 20 21 degrees but it also one of the days it went up to 60 degrees so we have this crazy weather and this is something where it's it's kind of trendy um, but it looks nice it looks put together it's nice and chic and um, you're keeping your your head warm but you're looking good at the same time so this is basically one of my favorites for the for the month okay also my favorite is this uh, last month my my uh, son's uh, girlfriend actually gave me uh, a very Hollywood Michael Kors perfume and this is what it looks like it is a girly fruity sweet scent but not very overwhelming okay um, I'm not as you well know I'm not a teenager um, and I don't want to look like, I, I don't want to smell like bubble gum. I don't want to smell like I just came out of, of a candy store. I, I like something feminine and sweet. I don't like musky scents um, or uh, amber scents or um, that woodsy type of scent. I don't, I'm not into that. Um, this is perfect. This was one of the best gifts I, I got. And um, she knows me well. So if you're watching, uh, Jess, hi and thank you. Okay, so that's my perfume for the month. Also from CoverGirl, I have this lipstick. Okay, and it is the CoverGirl 255 uh, Delish Regal. And if you see me looking down once in a while, is because I'm actually, when I have small little writing like this, what I do is I write it down um, because I, I don't want to put on my glasses and take them off. And so if you see me looking down, um, it, it's because I have the writing um, here the names of, of the product and this is a beautiful beautiful color okay I don't know if this is gonna pick up it's a it's a nude but it's more in the brown mauve color okay and it's a matte but it's hard to explain it's a matte but it's also creamy I don't like shiny uh, lipstick they they tend to make me look older and they go into your fine little lines in your lips and um, I don't like them but this is very nice and it's from CoverGirl also from the pharmacy or from the drugstore um, pretty nails okay this goes back a long time and I know a lot of YouTube youtubers are mentioning it now but Pretty Nails have, has been around in the market for years and years. Uh, I remember when I was a teenager, this was this had just had come out in the market. And when it first came out, everybody was in awe uh, of this product. I love this product. Um, it makes it easy. It's clean. Uh, you don't have to buy the, the nail polish remover and then the extra cotton. And so everything is contained here. And all you have to do is take your nail and just dip and swipe. And that's it. No mess, no fuss, no three or four products that you have to buy. And what I tend to do with this is after maybe, especially when I'm using glitter, um, I, I bought two. I bought, I, bought, I bought one for regular nail polish and then I have an extra one that is just for glitter. Um, and what I do is that, especially the glitter, the glitter one just lasts me about three or four months and then I toss it because then the gl glitter particles uh, they stay in the can and so that's not effective but for the normal nail polish this will last me about six months and then what I do is I'll have a big nail polish remover um, that I will buy in Costco's or BJ's and I'll just continue to pour it in here okay so what I do after six months I'll take it I'll, I'll throw out the nail polish remover that's in here I'll clean out a sponge because it's basically a sponge in here um, let me show you 
so it's a sponge okay and it's full of nail polish remover and then it has this little um, little round cottony um, ball I guess and this is basically for the if you want to do your toes or if you have a, a certain area in your nail that is not coming out then you might want to rub it with this but what I said what I what I do at the uh, end of the six months is I throw everything out throw all the liquid out take the sponge clean it with some soap uh, this disinfect it with some uh, baking soda and what I do is I pour some more all the way to the top and then I can reuse it over and over again uh, instead of repurchasing, repurchasing this um, again and again so this is what it looks like and it's about $2.99 My other favorite for the month is the bio oil, and I'm, I know every, I'm sure that everyone knows about bio oil. Um, I have um, hyperpigmentation in my skin um, because I'm, I'm older. Uh, I, I got a lot, a lot of sun damages on the side of my face, and so what I do is when I wash my face in the evening, um, I'll put a little bit of this. I don't put too much of it, even though your skin absorbs it very quickly. Um, what I do is that I just dab it just where the hyperpigmentation is. Because I have very oily skin and so I don't tend to use a lot of this. And this goes a long way. I bought this in um, CVS for $12.99. Now one of my other favorites is this necklace. It is like a gray matte um, beads. Then it has frosty beads, like a pearlized bead here. And then it has a matte bead. And it's like this. Okay. This is very pretty. I've been using this this month with, in combination with the one that I have now. Which also is gray. I'm not sure if you can see that. But it's gray and it has like black beads. So what I do is I combine them. And that's what that looks like. Okay. Now, one of my favorites, um, and it's not that it's my favorite, but I'm so happy that I picked it up, was this little glass tumbler. It's it's the uh, it's mercury, and it was in home and not in Home Goods in TJ Maxx. And it's a tumbler for you to um, uh, drink uh, whiskey. But I don't use it, as you will see, I don't use it as a tumbler. I use it for my makeup brushes. Okay. And what I did was, because it's so pretty, and it looks so uh, feminine and, and, and sparkly, what I did was I purchased three. Uh, and all three of them I'm using them for brushes. Okay. And the last thing... Well, not the last thing, almost to the last. This bag here, I bought in Forever 21. Now, this little bag, uh, I love the pattern. I really didn't like the, the size because the size is kind of small. I'm, I'm not sure if it picks it up in camera, but it's, it's small. And I'm used to carrying large bags. But, to my surprise, I've been using this bag. Um, the reason why is because if I'm running an errand, I don't want to lug around a huge bag with, with 20,000 things inside. I, I, I take this and I put my wallet, my keys, and my cell phone. And my pen and my little tiny pad. And I, I'm out the door. And what I also like about it is that it's like a Chanel inspired look. It has a little bow here, a little faux leather bow. And then it just opens up like this and then it has the link chain okay um, this was also very inexpensive it was in forever 21 I think it was uh, 16.99 okay now I got now two more items and like I've said before in my videos I want my videos to be uh, based on uh, beauty and fashion and house decor and I went to uh, Marshall's and Bed and Bath 
uh, Bed and Bath and Beyond. And there I purchased uh, a pillow. In Bed and Bath, I purchased this pillow here. It is gray with metallic sequins little um, details. It's kind of small. It's not that big. And what I do with this is I actually put it in my, in, um, as soon as you come to my house, I have a little foyer and I have a, a black uh, little uh, chair and I put my pillow there so you can sit down and take off your shoes on your way um, in and put your shoes on your way out. Um, and, and the last thing is this artichoke. Very pretty. Simple but pretty. Um, this is what I bought in TJ Maxx. It ha it's for a little candle, these tea light candles. Okay, very, also very inexpensive, but it's cute. And I think that's it. I think that's it for for today. Um, I hope you like this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and um, join me in this adventure and let me know what you think and if you have any any suggestions of any uh, videos that you might want to see in the future uh, I'm open for suggestions I, I really want to um, make friends here in YouTube and, and, and inspire and for people to inspire me and that's what that's what we're here and um, and I, I, I want to share with you you know my ideas and and what I'm into and what I like and you know and I and I hope you you, you stay with me and, and and join me in this adventure now um, don't forget to subscribe like my video and please make a comment I'll see you next week in my next video bye